ring Thursday thingy, uh, but um, uh, Thursday night campaign with this guy from Hungary. Somehow he posted, uh, he posted uh, the announcements for the game, and I voted it a little bit, and it went to the front page, and he received like over sixty applications. <laughs> so you got sure. minions. What Thursday. are the Tasha's min Cauldron minion rules? Uh, they're basically sidekicks. What they are is there are three types of sidekicks. Expert, who is basically a rogue, but minus certain abilities, like it doesn't get the sneak attack, I believe. Let me check it real quick. Uh, filter, view all. Right, expert, sidekick. Let's see. Helpful, cunning action, expertise, coordinated strike, evasion. Oh, they do have a sneak attack. They just have specific conditions. So listen to this. Mm -hmm. A psychic is an adept at fighting in concert with a companion. When a psychic uses its helpful feature to aim an ally in an attacking creature, that target can be up to 30 feet away from the psychic, and the psychic can deal extra 2d6 damage to it the next time the psychic hits it with an attack roll before the end of the current turn. The extra damage better is the water looks, by the way. Yeah, this is really neat. So it's the psychic gives you extra sharper. damage if your attack, if it helps you first. It's the expert one, yes. So, let's take a look. Hold on, I need to switch this to dark mode. Is it still recording, by the way? Yes. Okay, so, then, Spellcaster Sidekick. They're pretty this good, one... by the way, because they can pick anything, right? Mm, in a sense, but look at this. The Sidekick gains the ability to cast spells. If the creature already has the Spellcaster trait, this is basically like you take a creature, yes. and you just put, like, classes on it. Or you can just create it, like I did. Um, if the creature already has the spell spellcasting trait, this feature rep replaces this trait. Choose the spellcaster's role, mage, healer, or prodigy. It is basically wizard, cleric, or bard, slash warlock. Wait, wait, wait. It was healer, prodigy, and... Healer, mage, or prodigy. Mage is a wizard, and ability is intelligence. Healer is cleric or druid, it's wisdom. And then prodigy is a bard and warlock, charisma. So, you basically get to choose divine spells, warlock spells, or, you know, wizard spells. This choice determines the spell list and spellcasting ability used by the psychic, as shown on the spellcasting table. Cool. Spell slots. The spellcaster table shows how many spell slots the psychic has to cast its spellcaster spell of first level or higher. So basically what they get is they get just two cantrips and mm -hmm. one known spell mm -hmm. and two costs of level two. And they go up to level five spells. So... They're useful for, like, yeah, I'm planning to pick uh, a cleric for mine, and it's just going to be that. <laughs> it's going to be a guy who puts little baby blesses on everyone. Babu bless. Yes, exactly. Look at this. Spells known. The psychic knows two cantrips and one first level spell if you choose from its spell list. Here are recommendations for a first level spellcaster for each role. Look at this. Mage. Mage hand. Ray of frost. Thunder wave. Healer. Cure wounds, guidance, and sacred flame. This is so neat. This is like a little sidekick character that knows little babies. This is like exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I want from this sort of stuff. Yep. It's fascinating. It's like, it's it's exactly like that. It's something that has the ability to help because spell slots are important and valuable. And someone who doesn't, who will not be able to steal the limelight, basically. And here's the warrior, for example. The warrior one, he gets... A martial role at level one, which is attacker, he gets just plus two to attack rolls, or defender. The psychic can use this reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll of a creature within five feet of it, whose target isn't the psychic. It's almost like a sentinel, except without the attacks. And also, it gets ability score improvements, which mm -hmm. means it can get a sentinel in this. Oh my. So the first thrall, the first thrall that I'm picking for myself is a warrior sidekick. <laughs> defender. So they will be hanging out with me. They might not be able to hit very hard. But every time somebody tries to attack me, they will be doing it at a disadvantage. Sexy. And then this guy also has a sentinel, which means they can't run away after they do this. What a squeeze. Yes. Man, I really yeah. need to learn to let go on, on, on tabletop RPGs and stuff. So what I'm trying to do on. 3.5 is let go. Embrace the 3.5 truth. Instead of being one of those nerds who only looks at the rules and goes, what about the rules? What about the monster stab block? Instead of, what about the monster stab block? <gasps> Want to be an adult? I appreciate the way you run 3.5 so far. 
I gotta tell you. Yeah, this is definitely Flash. Look at the way this laser appeared. Taffy, you might be in range for the laser. Be careful. Oh, no, never mind, sorry. I'd adjust it for its, for its new trajectory. Oh, and the laser called one up. That's cute. open a cold one with the boys. Yes. That's a crack up the boys with the cold ones. So, because the physicality doesn't go back until you release... Yeah, you can get weird ice formations like that that don't make any sense, because the engine doesn't mm -hmm. know what the hell to do. It's great! Yeah. Basically, a bunch of pieces that weren't even connected together. The fog. Yoink. Yoink. <sighs> the inverter. Yeah, if I ever, if I ever end up with uh, thralls in 5e again, I'll be asking to use the little sidekick feature. Luminion. Yes. Oh. That one's late. a tough one, by the way. Yeah, but you Although can you can, oh, pour all the lava to the right. Yeah. Why did I never consider that? I don't know. Who knows? Because I'm stupid. Sometimes we all have a brain fart. It's I'm, fine. I'm very know. stupid a lot of the time, or I wouldn't be in this I like, massive mess that I'm currently in. I like how the inverted suit symbol is a fucking Tide Pod. It's supposed to be yin and yang of water and lava, man. I know, but it looks like a Tide Pod. God dang Tide Pods. Silly Tide Pods, you're not for kids. Every single, every ever since that Tide Pod situation happened, by the way, every yeah. single Dutch advertisement for um, laundry detergent has featured a section that's like, keep it out of range of kids. Kids have oh, and yeah, will continue to try to eat Tide Pods. I mean, at this at this rate, it's just basically, you know, natural selection. At some point, you are not responsible for your child following the old Darwinese tradition of winning a Darwin Award. Like, I mean, honestly, at this rate, like, come on. Me and the lava are going to crack open a hot one. Ha ha ha. There we go, like, here's the mirror level. The lasers in this fire for way shorter than before. Yes, they all seem to have their own uh, settings as to when and how they activate, and if they activate multiple times or not. Oh, this is a nice puzzle. It reminds me of another crystal cave from Dark Souls. It, I, f I feel like it's so weird that I, <laughs> I actually pull in its tail. Um, I hate that comparing anything to Dark Souls has become like, oh, it's it's a stupid thing now. I I hate how that became a thing. Like you can't legitimately say, oh, this reminds me of that anymore. Sorry about that. I le had a legitimate problem, which is that the the recording window hadn't had a little whoopsies. So that got shuffled around a bunch. <laughs> Yeah, you got bullied by those little worms. No, no, the recording window got shuffled around, so I had to correct that. Oh. But you did get bullied by the worms while that was happening. Is what I'm saying. I'm not a sellout video game. If I was a sellout, I'd be making fucking money! Honestly, yeah. I would love to make money from a source different than the one that I currently have available. Epic Ray. So that was Ice World. Great. Love it. 
that's what I'll be yeah. recording for today. It'll get me, get me going for a while. As long as not too many D&D games get cancelled, because those fill up the daily slot too. Next up's gonna be an interesting world. I, I really, you know what? Let's let me show, show you a little preview, because we've yeah. seen a bunch of fluids. We're gonna get one more fluid, and it's a really cool one. I'm just gonna show you a little sneak peek. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It's right over there. It's the black goo, but it has an interesting property. Like oil? No, something very different. Can you it see expands it? Expands in a really weird, weird way. Let's take a closer look at what it does. I'm looking. It's attracted to oh, me. Oh, it see? pulls towards you, yeah. It's magnetic. Jeez, it took me like a moment. Oh, so it's like ferrofluid, though. Those fat, fat, fat yeah, I, I love, I love this mechanic because it does a couple other things without it reacts with water and lava, and it's, mm -hmm. and there's, and there's a suit related to this, but it's really cool. We'll get to that next time. See you then, guys. Right, like recording. Suit. Wave at the camera, Como. Hello. Wave. I'm waving at the I'm camera. I'm exploiting you for, for non-existent money that I won't get because AdSense is fucked. <laughs> so if I can send you like two dollars. I've got a coffee and I've got a Patreon, so you can go there if you insist on sending me a money. But I don't need two dollars, don't worry about it. Okay, fair enough. 